If you've been thinking about going live on Facebook, then you're gonna love the software that I'm about to show you. Stay tuned, I'm Owen Video. Owen Video! Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Owen Video from the biztubeacademy.com. Uh, biztubeacademy.com, where you'll learn how to professionally plan and launch a YouTube channel that makes money. If it's your first time here and you want to use video to grow a following, make money, and make an impact, then be sure to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to click the bell notification so that you get an alert each time that we go live. This channel's on fire. On today's show, I'm going to show you a software that makes face-to-face -face interviews absolutely spectacular. It's literally the best software on the market for this type of thing. It's called BeLive.TV. And although it can do a ton, today I'm going to show you how you can run a face-to-face -face interview show using BeLive to stream directly on Facebook Live. It's super easy to use. It's great to get comments. And in just one week of using this software, I increased my live video views from an average of 500 to 2.3 thousand in just 24 hours. I know, it's insane. So without further ado, to the computer. So here we are on the BeLive.TV site. You can either click the Get Started button right here or the Login button. We're just going to click Get Started. And right away, it's going to give you the option for a solo broadcast or an interview. We're just going to go with interview right now because that's why I love this software. Now, you're going to put in your Facebook posting copy here, but you can always go back and change this. So we're just going to put something like test broadcast here and then an email. You can either create a scheduled live broadcast or you can go ahead and go live right now. I'm going to go ahead and go live right now. And then you can choose where you want this to go on your own timeline, on a page, in a group, an event, or testing only. But we're going to go on group you manage and we're going to go into one of my private groups so that we don't really bother anybody. So it's going to go through, you know, all your different groups here. I'm going to choose my content hub. And then you can ask to get messenger receipts here. I'm going to create broadcast. Now I'm in the production studio and this is where the magic happens. So I'm going to go ahead and click start. And then you see it gives me the option to connect camera. First thing I'm going to do is hit my settings. I'm going to change it to 720. I'm going to change my camera to the pro webcam. I'm going to make sure the microphone is set up to the microphone I want to connect with. Then I'm going to click connect camera. Oh, crap. Okay, now I've got some clothes on and we can finish the video. So you can see that I'm in the background room here. You see how I look over here. And as soon as we connect our guests, they will appear right here. When I want my guests to join me, all you have to do is copy this link right here. And then you can go, you know, wherever you want to go. You can text them. You can Facebook Messenger them. However you want to get them that link, they'll be able to log in from their desktop as well. Now, before I bring on a guest, I want to bring your attention over here to the agenda section because I love this. When you click the agenda section right here, you can actually add talking points to your show. So if you want to put something like question one, you're going to be able to write a question and even have a description right here. Your audience will only be able to see this part when you allow them to. So I'm just going to go ahead and add that agenda item. I'm going to add a couple more just for demonstration purposes. So now I've got a couple different agenda items here along with a description that enables me to know what it is that I want to cover uh, during this section. Now, once you've written in your agenda items, you cannot go back and change them. You'd have to delete them and start over again. And then you can even put like some bullet points. And then once you've covered those bullet points in your show, you can click on that and then they will gray out. During the live event, you can click the show button and watch what happens. The question part will actually appear on screen live in real time. You can click hide and it goes away. Just one of the reasons why I really love this software is it's so engaging. You can click on agenda to let that go away. You can pop on it and it will pop back up during the show. All right, notice down here you see my name. I can click show again and look, my name pops up in my window. As soon as I get my guest on board, their name will pop up in their window. I can also write on screen updates here. So I can say, you know, subscribe now, click show, and then that'll show up as well. I could even do, I could hide it, right? And the screen goes away. I can put subscribe at the video spot.net. 
and I can show that. I could have that up the whole time that I'm doing the show. And here's what I love. All of your live comments are going to appear down here. So with these live comments, there is absolutely no reason to have to be on Facebook while you're doing your broadcast. You can manage all of it from this interface here, which is why I really, really love this software. Now up here, I have all the different views, all the different ways of viewing this live broadcast. So let's go ahead and bring on a guest and then I'll show you exactly how all of these things look and why this is a serious platform for streaming live on Facebook. There she is. Hey baby, how you doing? I'm doing great. How about you? Awesome. Sounds awesome. Okay. So now you can see guys that we have our preview area over here and then this is our live broadcast area. Now, as I begin to switch the camera, look what I can do. I can go to the guest only view. I can do a picture in picture. I can do a split screen close up. I can do a one by one and then I can do the picture in picture and I can do speaker only. All right. And I still have the ability to play with these toggle on and off switch. So look, I can show you my name right there. I can go back to the joint view and I can add her name by clicking the show button there. I can even go back to my agenda and show my question right there. So how, you know, how, how neat is that? Now, obviously that might be, you know, a lot. So I can click the agenda button, click hide and click hide and look at that. And then the answer is still right there. As, as I answer these questions, I can kind of check them off. I can go to the next one and, and, and ask those questions there. So it's really a very comprehensive program. You can be doing live switching and all sorts of great stuff. What I'm going to do now is start the broadcast, and then we're going to go to Facebook and take a look at what the broadcast actually looks like. So let's go ahead and do that. It's going to give me a five-second countdown. So here we go. Watch. That window pops up. I'll press this, and I'll get a five count. During this time, I can, of course, go to my script. I can go pull up any other windows that I want to pull up. Over here in the little green area, it will show me how many people are viewing. And then down here, it'll show me the comments. And I can even comment um, as Owen Hemsath. So I can go, hey, guys, how are you? Now, let's do this. Let's go over to Facebook and see what it looks like on Facebook. So here we are live streaming in Facebook. There's obviously a little bit of a delay here, but notice how my comment appeared down here. I can even comment back down here and say something like, uh, how is everyone today? And then let's just add an emoji just to have some fun with it. We'll just add the little square there and I'll, I'll type that. And then what you guys will see as we go back to BeLive is that that comment showed up right down here today. Get ready for this. Are you, first of all, let's get rid of this agenda item. Click on agenda, click on hide. Let's say that I wanna highlight a comment that one of our viewers has made. I can actually pop that up on screen and the comment along with the emoji will appear on screen with my name and my image. This is a fantastic way to get your viewers engaged and to have them actually participating in the conversation. If I wanna hide it, I'll click hide and I can of course respond back to people right here. So let's go ahead and say that you've wrapped up your broadcast, you wanna say goodbye, you're gonna click the end broadcast button here. You're gonna end the live broadcast. You can go over here to your hamburger menu, click on my broadcasts, and you'll see that there is a test broadcast here. And you'll see the test broadcast right here. The default image. I can upload my own image, but I didn't in this case. And a link directly to that video. So BeLive doesn't actually store a hard file in their software, but they do give you a link directly to the video. And you can even go back to the face-to-face -face page where your agenda is still there. You'll of course have to reconnect your camera. Your agenda is still there. Your comments are still here. And uh, you don't have the ability to broadcast, but you can go back and um, you know finish your conversation, copy some stuff for later. Really a fantastic tool 
for streaming live on Facebook in the most dynamic and cool way that we have seen. Now, BeLive.TV has a lot of other features as well, and we're gonna cover those in future videos. But if you are serious about streaming live on Facebook, then you absolutely have to check out this software. I've put some links in the description box below. I've also put some links to my playlist here on how to use Facebook Live to grow your business. I also put a link down here to my live stream checklist, a very comprehensive guide on all the gear that you need to make your live stream streams look and sound fantastic. Remember guys, we're live on this channel all throughout the week. You can subscribe below to make sure that you get alerts. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.